Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Recently, the iClone Unreal Life Link have a really great update that you can direct transfer not only the 3D avatar but also can transfer the motion together into the Unreal Engine 5. The motion can include the body motions, the facial expressions and also the mouth talking lip sync VSAM. We call it VSAM. And at the same time, it transfer the avatar together with all the animations. And it will be in Unreal Engine, become a skeleton mesh and also included an animation sequence that included motion, facial and lip sync all together, become just an animation sequence. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step. This is my Icon 8 and I already have the Unreal Life Link plugin at here. This is the Icon Unreal Life Link. And then I already have the Unreal Engine 5. And first I'm going to just show you an avatar. The avatar will be here under the actor, correcto. As demo, I'm going to use use a female. This is an Icon avatar. For today I I don't want to just purposely mention about the character creator for but it can be any non-standard avatar in iClone. In iClone 8, this is an avatar. And then I'm going to apply some animations. Under the animations, I will apply the motion plus Right now, I apply this motion plus, and now you can see if I try to play. Hi, I'm a digital character created with Character Creator, and as you can see, I can act, talk, and have lively expressions. Right now, you can see this animations. It included the facial expressions and also the lip sync the lip sync about the mouth talking and also facial expressions and I set a range like this Hi, I'm a digit Alright, this is the range that I want to transfer to Unreal Engine but before that as there are more, I'm going to just create an Unreal Engine game project start from beginning, start from a fresh new project now this is the Unreal Editor and now it is opening Okay, as demo, I'm going to create a new game project a third person game project like this and the project name, I'm going to name this as iClone Unreal Life Link 02. Alright, this is my demo 02. Click Create. Now the Unreal Engine 5 is creating a fresh new project. Click OK. This is the project name, iClone Unreal Life Link 02. Okay, this is a fresh new third person game project. Okay, like this. And then, next up, you need to you need to install the iClone Unreal Life Link plugin for your Unreal Engine game project. So how? You just need to right click, right click any of the folder under the content, right click it, show in folder, and then you maximize it. Now you can see it is under this PC, document, Unreal project. And then this is the project directory. Double click to open. 
open to standby. Next, you have to back to your iClone. In your iClone, click the plugin Unreal Life Link. Find the Unreal Life Link plugin folder. Right. If you doesn't have the iClone Unreal Life Link yet, you can just scroll down, go to my video description to get the iClone Unreal Life Link from the official site. Now you can see this is my Unreal Engine 5.0, 5.0. The plugin, the plugin is here. Right click to copy the plugin. Click and use Control C to copy. And then go back to the folder of your directory. It's here. This is your Unreal project directory. Control V, Control V to paste it here, the plugin. And then you also need to have the auto setup. Click here. If you have the auto setup, now I've not yet installed the auto setup, now I'm going to install it. To get the CC auto setup for Unreal Engine. Get it from the official site. This is very important. You need to have the auto setup. Now I click free download. This is really a free plugin. Auto setup for Unreal Engine. I'm using the Microsoft Windows. Click here. Now it is downloading. It is not a big file. It is just about 71.6. Alright, once finished download already, you have to install it into your computer. Now I put the auto setup installer on my desktop. I double click to open it to install it into my computer. This is the auto setup for Unreal. You need to install in your computer. Next. It will install under the C program file Revolution Share plugin. Alright, now you can see once you finish finish install, it will automatically open. It it is under C program file Revolution Share plugin, auto setup Unreal. I give you this this location open at sorry get get the CC auto setup for Unreal Engine and open at open at here after you install it right next just now you still open the project directory at here for your auto setup, just double click to open the auto setup folder. This is Unreal 5.0. So just use all of this. Right, right click to copy or just use Ctrl C to copy and paste it here. Ctrl V. Paste it into your Unreal project directory. Then close everything. At the same time, you need to restart, restart your Unreal project. Just close it, All right? And open again, open again the Unreal Engine five. After you, after you copy and paste the plugin into the directory, you need to restart it. All right, this is my project. Just now. Click OK.
Now you can see this one execute the CC setup and also the Unreal, the Unreal Live thing. Once you can see these two symbol at here, that means your iClone Unreal Live link and CC Auto setup already installed. Next, in your iClone here, select the plugin, the Unreal Live link, open the Unreal Live link. Now you want to transfer this avatar together, together with the motions. You just need to deselect everything. Here you click and place a set in scene, you have to untick it, close it. Now you only select your character. This is the character. And include the motions. And you, you only want to have this range. So choose the range and then click transfer file. Now you need to wait for a while because now the icon Unreal Life link is transferring your avatar and also your motions into the Unreal Engine 5. At this stage, you have to wait for a while like this. You have to wait until it finished transfer. Now it should be ready. You can see under your content folder, you have you have a RL content. Now it it is still transferring the motions. You have to wait for a while. If you want to transfer the motion, it will pop out two times the Unreal the Unreal CMD. Now under your RL content, double click to open. Inside here, you can see. Your skeletal mesh is ready. This is your skeletal mesh. It already transferred into, into the Unreal Engine 5. And next, check your motion. Now, you have this. This is exactly the, the motion with the facial expressions and the lip sync. So if you want to transfer another motion, let's say now, I want to have another motion. I select the motion. Let's say I want him I want her to perform the air dance. I give her the air dance. Hi, I'm a digital character created with Character Creator. And as you can see, I can act, talk, and have lively expression. Alright, now I only want to have this range. I can open the Unreal Life link. And then same as just now, tick the avatar and select the range. For this time, you, you can just choose the motions. You only want to have this avatar's motions. Choose the range and transfer the file. For this time, it, it only transfer the animation sequence. Now you have to wait for a while. Now it is going to transfer another, another motion. Right then, you can see it is here. If you double click, you can see once I already added the motion, the mouth talking animations, the facial expressions still there. And now it's, it added the body motion as well. You can just drag it into your scene. And if I play, now you can see The avatar is talking, it have the mouth talking animation. And for this avatar, it have the body motion. Now everything already in Unreal Engine 5. Alright, that's all for today about my tutorial on how to use the iClone Unreal Life link to transfer the, I, the iClone 8 3D avatar from iClone 8 to Unreal Engine 5 and also 
together with the motion and facial expressions body motion facial expression and also the lip sync now everything already in unreal engine 5 and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3d animation 3d game developing and 3d modeling you can subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time i publish a new video tutorial or sharing you receive a notification immediately see you in my next video enjoy happy 3d animation 3d modeling and game developing see you